What up, world? I'm Steve. You guys are the crypto crew, and this is where we keep crypto simple and easy to understand. Today's video, we have an exciting one. First, we need to celebrate a little bit. We've had some days of green. However, there are some dangers that are quickly approaching Bitcoin, and we need to continue to stay one step ahead of the game. So today's video, we're going to cover what those dangers are and what do we expect to happen. Now, if you guys are new here, we welcome you into the Crypto Crew. Crypto Crew, it's great to see you. Welcome to one of the fastest growing crypto channels here on YouTube. You definitely want to subscribe. Hit that button right now and turn on the bell for those fresh new videos. Now, let's be honest real quick with each other. A lot of you watching right now are on the wrong track in crypto. That means you don't have a good investment strategy and you need to learn more about charts. Let's just be honest. My passion, my biggest passion is teaching about crypto. I put my heart into it and I want to help you get on the right track in crypto. So do yourself a favor, sign up to my classes. Those are linked below and let's get you on the right track in crypto. Now, special shout out to the crypto crew. I love you guys. It's great to be back with you for another exciting video. Just because I'm in this fresh pink blazer, I'm still not your financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Let's jump into it, everybody. So we're going to break down. There are actually five dangers approaching Bitcoin right now. We're going to walk through each of the five and we're going to talk about what do they mean and what do we expect to happen because we've been pretty accurate predicting what's going to happen in the short term with Bitcoin. So let's take a look at what the indicators are telling us. Now, we're here on Coinigy. This is where we do all of our charts. If you guys are new to Coinigy, just check out the link in the description. And um, I think they have a few week trial as well. Those of you that are in my class, in the intermediate class, you guys have access to this BTC USD chart, which we're going to jump into. Now, we're on the one day chart for BTC USD. We're going to walk through the first thing momentarily, but I just want you to notice what's happening with Bitcoin right now. We've had this, this recent downfall. We kind of bottomed out a little bit before our our full-on bottom at like 5,800. Bitcoin is currently at $7,795. This is going to change um, pretty frequently as we continue through this video. We've had a recent run-up. A lot of, lot of reasons to celebrate here in, in the big picture, but in the short term, we have some problems approaching. So let's go into what that first problem is. Now, what we're going to do is take a look at the Stochastics RSI, which is this guy down here, and that measures momentum. So we're going to go here to this chart, and we basically just zoomed in. We're on the 12-hour chart with the Stochastics, and we just had a cross right here where this arrow is. Now, what this means is we've had a pretty drastic run-up from the bottom, and we're out of momentum. So the price usually follows momentum. So the momentum has had this bearish cross and we're heading down. And if we go back to the chart before, if we look at the past times that we've had this cross and we started heading down, the last time Bitcoin was at 9,000 and we went all the way down to 6,400. The time before that, Bitcoin was at 12,000 and we ran all the way down to 7,500. So it, it's, it's a pretty big deal, right? These, these channels move you know, every week to three weeks. So that's reason number one. We just had this cross happen on the 12-hour chart. Now, the second reason we're going to get into is the RSI. Now, we have some arrows here in the middle of the screen. So you guys know the RSI is overbought and oversold. Overbought above 70, oversold below 40. We have pretty strong resistance at, this is just about 62. So we drew this orange line here. Now, support and resistance. 
Everybody at home, when you watch my videos, I really want you to learn something. Every video, take a little piece of it. Uh, follow along on the charts. I don't want you just to watch uh, for entertainment purposes. I really want you to learn. So what what if there's one thing you can take away today is support and resistance. It sounds simple. You hear this this term thrown around a lot, but it's the single most important thing in anything financial, support and resistance. So we have this orange line that I drew at 62, and I have all of the arrows in which it represents resistance. It also represented support as well. However, I just wanted to point out just the resistance. It's a very, very important level for Bitcoin. So you can see just recently, the level ran up to about 55 here on Bitcoin on the daily chart. 55, we didn't quite get to 62, but it's a danger approaching. You can see that we had resistance here on March 5th and also on February 19th, also on January 7th, also the previous year, October 1st. The list goes on and on in September on 7.28 and on 6.20. This is a very important level for Bitcoin. I mentioned in my previous video, I don't think we're gonna get above this RSI level for at least a month, just to be honest with you guys. Um, but I could be wrong. We also have to be honest with ourselves. There's no human on planet Earth that will be right every time with, with predicting the future based on indicators. We're not flipping a coin, we're looking at indicators and we're using our education and expertise and experience to decide what's going to happen. But my experience tells me that it's gonna be pretty difficult in the short term to get over this level. So that's reason number two. We've got strong resistance right there at that 62 paired with that stochastics RSI we just had across. Let's get to the other three reasons. We're going to go here to our next chart. And there's a lot going on in this chart. We're going to walk piece by piece. There are three pieces that we're going to get into. The first will be this trend line. We also drew it in orange. So just pay attention to this orange line I drew here. It's called a trend line. It basically determines what trend we've been in now for almost four months. For exactly 118 days, we have followed this trend. It's not something that we've been following for an hour or a few days. It's 118 days we have followed this trend line. And we've touched the trend line four times, including today. Today was the fourth time. So it's a pretty significant day. Like I said, we had a nice run up reason to celebrate. However, look at the past, guys. When we've touched this line, what's happened? When we touched this line, what's happened? This line, what's happened? So it's a pretty significant line. Um, if we want to take a measured move, we'll click shift. We'll drag down the cursor and the measured move is almost 30% down from there. Let's see what this move was. We'll click shift, we'll drag down, and just about 30%. If we were to repeat history, for example, we just need to be prepared. If we go down 30%, that will bring us to around 5,005. Now, I'm not saying we're going to 5,005. However, we just need to be aware that this has happened previously, and it's way too early to tell where this move is going to go. But this is number three. We have pretty strong resistance. So this line right here, this trend line, acts as pure resistance until we break it and it could be our support. It could really play in our favor in the future. But right now, it's strong resistance. You can see what's happened previously. But we are literally right on the line as we speak. So that's reason number three. Reason number four is, guys, we have 
we have our moving averages, right? Our moving averages act as our support until they're broken. For example, take a look at Bitcoin as we ran up, okay? It was our support. Look, we bounced off of it here. We went on a massive move. We held on the 50-day moving average for multiple weeks, and then we broke it. After we broke that, it became our resistance. Remember, support is down here. Resistance is up here. Anytime you break through the bottom or you break through the top, they just switch roles. Simply put, a resistance becomes a support. A support becomes a resistance. Resistance pushes it down. Support pushes it up. Picture it like a hand pushing it down. And picture this, this green guy, the 50-day moving average, almost like a hand pushing Bitcoin's prices down. As soon as we broke it, it's pushing that momentum down here. We came up to the 50-day. It pushed us back down. We broke through it momentarily, but it was too strong. It pushed us back down, and it's continued pushing the price of Bitcoin down right along this trend line. And you can see the 50-day is coming. The 50-day is coming. We're close to it now. So that is reason number four. So not only do we have resistance from the trend line, we have resistance from the 50-day. We also have the stochastics cross. And on top of that, we have the resistance from the RSI. So we have to get to reason number five. And then we need to talk about what does this mean? What do we expect to happen with Bitcoin? So reason number five is, is a big one, actually. Um, reason number five is these lower lows and lower highs that we have been uh, putting in with Bitcoin. Now, let me explain this in a simple way. You guys know we like to keep Bitcoin simple. We like to keep crypto simple. So, Steve, what does a lower low mean? What does a lower high mean? I, I keep hearing people talk about it, but nobody tells me what it means. So let's do that. A lower low. So let's start at the high. Remember, we are at Bitcoin. When Bitcoin was 20,000. Everybody thought it was going to the moon. From 20,000, we made a new low, right? That was 10,000. That's our first low. Our next low was here at... 9,000. So that is a lower low. That means, picture it like stairs. If we continue walking down the stairs, we're in a big downtrend until we, we move further up than the previous low. So that was a lower low. The next low was 6,000. So that was a lower low. So we went from 10 to 9 to 6. Each was a lower, lower, lower. Same with the highs. If you look at our high. We were at a high of 20. When we went lower, our next high was 17. So it was lower. So that is a clear downtrend, right? Our next high was 12,000, lower. Our next high was 9,000, lower. So stairs moving all the way down. Until we break that trend. For example, if this move, if we went higher than 9,000, that is very significant. It'll be a change in the momentum, a complete change in the momentum. You'll see, you'll see coins exploding, exploding. Now, we haven't created a higher low or a higher high uh, yet in the past almost four months, right? So we're still continuing. This trend right here that we are on was really steep. Not maintained. Nothing in, in crypto goes straight up or straight down. This was almost straight down. And this move really started to change the momentum. So from February 5th, we have a different momentum in the market. It's still not a great one, but it's better. What I mean by that is we went all the way up. We tested this line again, and we started creating... This was a lower high, right? This was our recent high around 12. This was lower at 9.6. Our next high was 9, so lower. Our next high is what we're, where we were, were earlier today, like 8,001, 8,002, which was a lower high. So we're in a little bit better territory, but we're still creating lower highs and lower lows. So that's reason number five 
which we need to be concerned about. Again, we need to continue to be one step ahead of everybody else. Right now, everybody is celebrating. Oh my God, crypto back going to the moon. All the coins are going to be up double digits, but this is where people lose a lot of money, not us. We're going to be smarter than everybody else and one step ahead of everybody else. We know that based on these five things, we're going to see Bitcoin decline in price in the short term. In the short term, we're going to have a pullback. We don't know to what level yet. It's really difficult to tell, but we are going to have a pullback in Bitcoin, which your question is, Steve, if Bitcoin goes down, what happens to the altcoins? They will go down as well, depending how fast Bitcoin moves. Um, but altcoins are still in a mini rally right now, which is very nice to see. But when Bitcoin moves down, altcoins will move down a little bit faster. They'll still have room to breathe, but basically, simply put, in the short term, crypto will have a little bit of a pullback. We'll have to touch back and see what what level we're going to reach to. Now, let's talk about a few more things. I have a couple exciting announcements for the crypto crew that you guys are going to love. But first, I promised you earlier in this episode that we would touch on the classes real quick. I put my heart, I put my soul, I put passion, I put everything I have into my classes and I love it. I really want to help you guys get on the right track. I just want you to be honest with yourself. If you know that, hey, I need to learn more about charts or hey, I really need an investment strategy. You're in the right place, guys. So do yourself a favor, sign up to those classes below. There's a beginner class for if you're super beginner just getting in, that class is for you. If you guys want strategy and you want to learn more about charts, the intermediate class is for you. I look forward to welcoming you in to the classes. Now, announcement for the crypto crew. You guys remember, we're going to be doing a trash or cash series which is actually honest. There's a lot of fluff on YouTube where everybody's paid to talk about ICOs and paid to do interviews with the CEOs. Everything is paid for dishonesty. They're paid to be dishonest. They're not allowed to give their real opinion. And we're going to do a real series, raw, straight from the heart. And our first candidate is going to be, drum roll, boom, 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 Tron. Tron, it was voted by you guys in the comments. Let me know in the comments what you think of our first episode on Tron. Let me know, do you guys think Tron is cash or do you think Tron is trash? Would love to see your comments and, and get a trend of what's going on. A couple more things. I really want to remind you guys that and get your opinion as well. This is another opinion question. We're going to be changing our logo here to the crypto crew. What I want to do with this community is something bigger than me. I want to create this powerful movement of people joining together. We all want to learn about crypto and we really want to take this seriously. It's all about learning. So I want it bigger than me. So we're changing the name to the crypto crew. A lot of you guys asked, hey, who is, who's Pauline? If you guys want to know, we documented our life all over the internet. Um, filming live videos from all around the world. You guys can check it out, Steve and Pauline on, on um, Instagram if you guys like pictures. Last but not least, this is really cool. You guys know I have this, this world hat and, and you're probably like, Steve, what, what are you doing with this hat? If you didn't watch um, earlier videos, one of my big passions is traveling. I never got to travel as a kid. We never had money. I never left the East Coast. And in the past 10 years, um, I've been blessed and I've gotten to go to 58 countries. So I love hearing from where you're from. I want to hear where you're from. We all know cryptocurrency is global, but the crypto crew is global. I love hearing where you're from. So let me know. Maybe I've been to your town or city or state or country or whatever it is. Uh, let me know in the comments as well. Great to see you all again, the crypto crew, and let's get a thousand likes on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to welcoming you in to the classes and have a beautiful day, everybody. We'll be touching base again on where we are going to fall in crypto 
Um, we're going to have a pullback. Maybe it doesn't start right at this moment, but it's definitely in the near future, and we'll be touching base to talk about where we are going to. All right, crypto crew, it's great to see you. Fist pound to the crypto crew. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace and love, y'all.